we are in a pandemic situation of covid disease the best weapon we have against this pandemic now is vaccine so we should plan our vaccine policy so well that the vaccine centers should not become a cluster point for transmission of the disease so we have to follow proper planning in establishing vaccine centers now let us see some of the statistical information which we are having up to june 8 that is 8th of this month we have given 23.61 crore doses of vaccine still we have to give 164.39 crore doses of vaccines in the future so we have to go a long way to cross this number to achieve this huge number in a reasonably good time we should try to have mass vaccination program this picture is in 1962 at texas crowds line up for polio immunization around a city auditorium this type of crowds we should avoid especially in the era of corona here an architect displays the floor plan of berlin strepto arena events hall as it is transformed into a center for mass COVID-19 vaccinations in December. This planning will avoid crowds in the vaccination centers, which is a very important factor. Now you can see how this arena was transformed into a mass vaccination center at Berlin in December. This is another huge vaccination center in Bristol, UK. This is a computer model which simulates a drive-through vaccination center where you can have the vaccination as you are in your vehicle. Large COVID-19 vaccination programs are transforming football stadiums, parking lots and even art museums into vaccine centers. But building the infrastructure of inoculation can get complicated. Fortunately, Tamil Nadu has one of the best healthcare infrastructure in the country. In planning these vaccination centers, the best positive note which Tamil Nadu is having is its health infrastructure. It has good health facilities from medical college hospitals to primary health centers. So, we should designate each health facility to plan the number of vaccine centers in their area. Once they decide the numbers, they can easily design the vaccination clinic. What are the factors which help in deciding the vaccination clinic? They should know. The first one is the clinic size. The second one is the time of the clinic. The third is staff requirement and fourth is total number of people to be vaccinated and fifth is the number of vaccination required or vaccine availability. These are all important factors which we should take in consideration while designing a vaccination clinic. While planning this presentation regarding vaccination clinic, I received a video from my daughter in Canada. She is uh, Mrs. Shurdi Shankari, an architect. So naturally, she is interested in designing the vaccination clinic for this uh, COVID program. Our uh, video gives an insight about how Canada is planning and designing its vaccination process. Let us see that video now. The first thing which caught my eye while going through Government of Canada planning guidance for immunization clinic for COVID-19 vaccine was example of staffing to vaccinate approximately 450 people at a time. 
where detail of number of vaccine can be administered within a period of six hours and the staff requirements was discussed. Design of vaccination clinic mainly depends on the population and immunizer. If we are able to assume how many people a immunizer can inject within a particular period, this helps in determining the clinic size, the time of the clinic, staff requirement, total number of people to be vaccinated, number of vaccination required or vaccination available at that point of time. So who is an immunizer? Immunizer role can be performed by nurses, doctors, paramedics, pharmacists, dentists, registered practical nurses, nursing and medical students or midwives. It is assumed that one immunizer can immunize 14 people within a period of one hour. So, if six immunizers work for about six hours, approximately 450 to 480 people can be injected. Just the population and the immunizer cannot run a vaccination clinic. So let us see about the support staff and the flow in which the vaccination clinic can be designed. With respect to immunizers, the vaccination clinic is divided into two zones. One zone is for the public access and the other zone is for syringe preloading loading. When we come to the entry, we pass through the a parking lot monitored by one parking lot attendee and enter through the entrance where there is two security persons and greeted by two persons to check for eligibility. As we move forward, we enter the registration area where registration documents are verified by two persons and as we enter the pre-immunization waiting area, there is one person to direct the client to the next available immunizer. As we get immunized, we move forward to the post-immunization waiting area where there is one person to monitor the client if they are unwell and assist them after immunization. As we move towards the other zone, that is syringe preloading zone, there are two persons to ensure that sufficient vaccine is preloaded to keep the clinic running efficiently, and there is one runner to monitor the supply of preloaded syringes that each immunizer has and age, and deliver preloaded syringes with the attached needle from the syringe preloader to the immunizers in a container. Thus, with six immunizers, for about six hours, we will be able to immunize about 450 to 480 persons. This design of vaccination clinic should be set up to ensure unidirectional flow of clients and minimize interaction and time in any given area. We cannot apply the same model to our setup. My suggestion will be we should try to give registration slips in the healthcare facility and direct the patients to go to vaccination centers with the slip where we should mention the date and time of vaccination. And the vaccination centers should be within the healthcare facility or very near to the healthcare facility in a school or something like that. So patients can go at the given time to the vaccination center and get their vaccination done at the vaccine clinic. Here I would like to conclude this presentation with a reference from our finance minister. It was published in the Hindu on 9th 
Uh, no, on 10th June of uh, 2021. What it says is, we need at least 60 crore population to be immunized by vaccination of two doses to reach to herd immunity and walk without mask. Herculean task, but has to be done. Thank you.